towards the corner. Puck knocked away from him. Santarelli dumps it in behind. Cut off by Logan Couture. Couture loses the puck. And now it's in front. Santarelli's there. Stop by the left pad. And Niemi, what a save. Santarelli gets the puck again. Mike Santarelli back to hand. Hughes shoots and a right pad save by Niemi. Shepard in the corner. Sends one in front. Glove down by Han Hughes. Puts one right under the tape of Henrik Sedin. And he skates the center with Alex Burroughs. Henrik to Burroughs. Trying to go through to the fence. Henrik follows up. He shoots. Stopped by Niemi. Who read the play well as that puck was pinballing off skates. Came to his right and made the save. Braun up the near side. Han Hughes tried to hold it in. Now he has to scramble back as Couture rushes out. Gets around Burroughs. Drives the crease. Luongo's got the puck. He was sliding backwards towards the goal line. But he makes the save and he covers up. He wingles to the blue line. Vlasic to Thornton. He shoots and that was tipped wide by Tomas Hurdle. Hurdle gets the puck behind the net. Tried to send it to the blue line. Now Vlasic with a long drive. Along the save. He'll fall on the puck. With 90 seconds to go on the first. And that allows with Couture. He kicks the puck to his stick and slides it forward to Patrick Marlowe. Marlowe checked by Santorelli. Burrows after the puck along the boards, gloves it, comes back to the blue line, gets with a drive, right into the midsection of Miami, who went to his knees to make the stop. We welcome those joining us from our NFL coverage, where Indianapolis narrowly held on to win by three. Here's Bietz with a long shot, they score! The Vancouver Canucks on a shot from the line have opened the scoring against San Jose. Braun or Daniel Sedin. And Daniel is in front of the net. He's doing a good job with the screen and the shot by Kevin Bieksa. I don't know whether that hit Justin Braun or Daniel Sedin. They're both right there. Good job by Daniel Sedin. And everybody's been talking about get that big body in front of the net. Work the puck forward to the corner. Han Hughes there to get it to Henrik Sedin. Up ahead to Daniel. Quickly to Chris Tannen. Back to Daniel Sedin. Canucks three on two. Daniel in front. Kessler stopped by the enemy. Jump the puck. Tannen's after it. Still loose. Tannen gets it in the corner. Behind the net for Daniel Sedin. He missed the puck. And Demers gets it on the far side. And Couture a chance to intercept in the corner. Leaves the puck there for Han but again, it's held in by the Canucks. Centered. Daniel shoots. Kicked out. Loose puck is under Niemi, who lies back and covers. And the fans will come to life after that shift from the Canucks' top line. Here's Boyle to an open wing. Garrison gets that puck inside the Vancouver line and tips it over to Alex Edler. Edler fan on his pass. Shepard moves back in. Here's Pavelski down the right side with a wrist shot. And Luongo reacted to make the save on the short side. Pavelski gets the puck again. Back to Vlasic. Right. He stops in the corner trying to get away from the Stanton. Puck comes around to hand and he's been very active this period. His pass picked off by Zach Dolphy. Only the second shift for Vancouver's fourth line since the first period. Dolphy with a shot. Big rebound. Comes right to Havlat and he hooks the puck out. This one through for Kennedy. Santarelli intercepts. Throws a perfect pass ahead to Higgins. Higgins with a move down the left wing. Higgins trying to center. Burroughs following to the net. Jamming away as Santarelli. Puck is still loose. Yanni trying to reach for it. It's under the old loose. It's still loose. Now it's finally... These for Garrison, who's poke checked, but Santorelli covering, let's go with a shot, and that was blocked. Sharks get the puck ahead to Pavelski. Leads for Shepard, who steps right around Alex Burroughs. Shepard moving on goal, he shoots a glove, saved by Luongo. After Shepard undressed Burroughs in the neutral zone, they get the puck to the blue line. Boyle hooks it to Couture, now to Marlowe. Didn't get much on that, but Pavelski's after the puck on Tannen. Thornton gets it behind the net. Joe Thornton taken down by Edler. Puck's in in front. Boyle off the toe of his stick. Now they score. Hurdle. What a bounce off the stick of Boyle right to... Here's another one. This Hurdle throws it around behind the net. Joe Thornton gets knocked down and then just scoops it out in front. Dan Boyle's trying to pound it to the net. And instead it's a... Over to Couture. Fakes the shot. Pass to the side. Now they set it up for Boyle. And he's... No, I think it went in. Boyle saying when play continues. That hit the back bar, I think. And I think the Sharks have won it in overtime. On a goal by Dan Boyle, the referees are talking. Tenders ping. I think you're right, John. Yes, it is the back bar. The play's under review, but the Sharks have all come off the bench to congratulate well, on team. Wide open, and Boyle is wide open, and he makes no mistake. Dan Boyle at 238 of overtime. Or 228, pardon me. No, it is 238. Stick with... On further review, the puck did enter the net. It's a good goal. So the Sharks tie it with 65 seconds remaining. The 